Hello again, this is tutorial 6. This is the key press instead of a on-screen button to add to our array list. Let's go ahead and start up the tutorial. As you can see, there is no button on screen. Instead, to add an item to the uh, list of to-do items, I go over here and click the virtual center button. And look, it added one. Actually, it added quite a few because I held it down. And we can add another. And let's add one more. As you can see, it adds an item to our list whenever I depress the center button on the D-pad. Now let's go ahead and go look at our tutorial. As you can see, we've stripped out all the button uh, calls. And instead, we have an on key listener that's been added directly to our edit text view item. Uh, it implements the on key. Uh, when we call it, we first check to see if it's the right action. Yes, we want action down. Is it the right key? Uh, yes, it is. And if so, then we execute the same functions as before uh, that we did with our button. And then we return true or return false. And the reason we want to return true if it is the key press that we want is so that we basically are intercepting that key press so that it doesn't get propagated on to the view. This is important because you want to sanitize your inputs into your program in case there is some other function that could potentially uh, in take or accept that key press, and you wouldn't want that to get passed on. So that's why you have to either pass a true or a false as part of your on key uh, to let the uh, listener know that uh, it is not to pass on that key function. And that's pretty much, as you can see, this is the most basic implementation uh, of an on key listener that you can have. Uh, it is essentially the same as tutorial 3, but with a key press instead of a button press.